Tide Current Tables Practice Problem 1. Welcome to Tide Current Table Practice Problems. The first one reads, What will be the velocity of the tidal current at Cooksaki, New York, at 9.45 Eastern Standard Time on 11 March 1983? Let's get our information. They're looking for velocity. So, velocity of the current at Cooksaki, New York, Cooksaki, New York, at 9.45 EST, 11th of March. Good, 1983. We need to set this up, and with practice, you'll realize that you need to get the reference station. The reference station and what that equals. You'll also need your time differences. Time differences, as well as your speed ratio. Speed ratio. This sets us up so we can just... We can deal with any situation once we get set up. So your time differences, you'll need minimum before flood, flood, minimum before ebb, and ebb. And your speed ratios will be for flood or ebb. Now let's go into Cooksaki, New York. We'll find this in the, in the index. It's going to be start with C. There's B's. C-O. C-O-R. There it is, Cooksaki, 3726. 3726, record that. And now we need to go find 3726 in table two. So we start flipping back in the book, a big chunk, and then these numbers start. There's 17, 25. 32, we're looking for 37. Oh, and here's 38, so we're somewhere in here. 3726. So we cruise down here, 35, 36, 37, 26. Here we are, Cooksaki, New York. And here's our time differences, time difference. Minimum before flood, flood. Minimum before ebb, ebb. So the minimum before flood is a slack current. The flood column is a max velocity. The minimum before ebb is the slack water, and the ebb is the max velocity of the ebb. And if we follow this up, here's our reference station. The narrows, page 52. Let's look, get that. The narrows, page 52. And this column over here, our speed ratio for flood and ebb. These, we're going to multiply by these because they're ratios. So let's go ahead and get all of the information. So minimum before flood, 6.45, plus six hours and 45 minutes, plus six hours, 57 minutes. Minimum before ebb, six hours, 55 minutes. And ebb, six hours and 44 minutes. These are big time differences. And then we have our speed ratios, both of which are 0 0.9. 0 0.9, 0 0.9. These, we multiply by these ratios. Okay, now we set ourselves up for success because we need to figure out 945. Where does that lie? And we go to the narrows on page 52. Page 120, 54, 52. Now we're on the narrows and we're looking for March. So January, February, March. Here's March and we're looking for March 11th. So we go down, here's March 11th. And you see these columns? This is slack water times, max current times, max current velocity. And then these, you can see it's flood, ebb, flood, ebb. So we're looking for minimum before flood. We're looking for where 945 lies in here. And these are monster time corrections. It's basically seven hours. So if you were to add seven hours to 157, it's pretty much like two plus seven is nine. Yeah, this is going to be where we start. And this, 1055, is going to be where we end. And our 945 will land somewhere in here. But we're prepared to record all this information. 157. 
Minimum before flood, 157. And then 458. 458 is the flood time. And the max current is 1.6 knots flood. Goes here, 1.6. Now we go down to the ebb line. Minimum before ebb, 740. 740 and 1055. 1055. And the max flood, the max ebb current is 1.9. Okay, so now where is 945 going to lie? Well, I think it's going to lie, yeah, somewhere between minimum before flood and flood when we correct for the time. So, good. I'm just checking to make sure this is Eastern Standard Time, not EST. So, 5 and 7 is 12. 2 carry the 1. That's 4, 5, and 10. That's 102 minutes plus 7. Well, we can't have 102 minutes, can we? So we're going to take 60 out and add an hour. That'll bring it to 8. 42, and now let's do this addition. 8 and 7 is 15. Carry the 1. That's 101. That's 11, right? And 6 plus 4 is 10. Well, we can't have 115 minutes, can we? So it's going to end up being, a, take 60 out, add an hour, and it's going to be 55. So 11.55. So our 9.45 lies between these two. So we're really dealing with the max flood here. And so this our, the speed of the max flood is going to come in right here. We'll say 0.9 times 1.6. Enter. 1.44. 1.44. Okay. And now we need to find exactly at 945 what's the velocity so we need table three velocity of current at any time and if you flip back in the book it's here on page 190. i always like to bend the corner over and then it's easy to find so what do we need to enter table three we need interval between slack and desired time and interval between slack and max current Let's figure these out. We need to find interval between slack and desired time. What's that equal? Well, slack is minimum before flood. That's 842. The desired time is 945. We'll put the big one on top. So 945 minus 842. Good. We'll give ourselves some room. And the next thing we need to find is interval between slack and max current. What's that? So slack is 842. Max is 1155. We'll put the big one on top. 1155 minus 842. Good. Let's, let's crunch these numbers. Okay, we can take 42 from 45. 5 minus 2 is 3, 4 and 4, 0. 9 minus 8 is 1, 0 and 0. So 103. Good. And now let's crunch these numbers. Okay, 5 minus 2 is 3. 5 minus 4 is 1. 11 minus 8 is 3. 3 hours and 13 minutes. Excellent. Now we can enter into table 3. And what's that going to give us? Table 3 is going to equal what? Okay, how do you know whether to use table A or B? Well, check this out. You can it tells you down here. Use table A for all pages except those listed below for B. Use B for Cape Cod Canal, Hellgate, Chesapeake and Delaware Canal and stations in table 2 which refer to them. Okay, sounds good. We're using table A. So we come in at interval between slack and desired time. Interval between slack and desired time, 103. 
find one hour is the closest. We underline these numbers. And now we come in interval between slack and max current. See this? 120, 142, all these top ones. We figure out where we are and then follow it down. So we are max current and slack. Slack and max. 313. Where is that? There's a 320. Yeah, we're closest to 320. There's 3, 320, 340. We're at 320. Follow it down. 0 0.5. This is a factor we multiply by. So it gives us a factor of 0 0.5. We're going to multiply that. And so we take our speed, our speed that we calculated, 1.44, and we multiply it by 0 0.5 that we got from table 3. And what does that equal? 1.44 times 0.5 equals 0 0.72. 0 0.72 probably just going to be 0 0.7. So we're, we're calculating that 0 0.72 knots is the velocity of the tidal current at Cooksaki, New York, 945 on the 11th of March, 1983. Let's check. There we are. B is 0 0.7. Let's see, that's what we got. Yeah, one is B. Excellent. There's four more of these to do with me in the video, and then two to do on your own. Take your time with these. I know they're outdated, but just be patient. Treat it like a puzzle. Imagine that you are hanging out with your grandfather on your old wooden boat. This is what you'd be doing on the East Coast to figure out these tides and see if you have enough draft. There's an overview for these two, so. Take your time, be patient, keep pushing forward, don't get frustrated, just push on through these tide current tables, and we'll see you on problem two.